guys, welcome back to Celeb Bites. This is a show where we test out our favorite celebrity recipes. Today we're trying out Meghan Markle's Spaghetti a la Shatara. This is from her lifestyle vlog, The Tig, and I've been dying to try it, so let's get started. So Megan in her recipe, she says to make the pasta ourselves, but obviously I'm not that extra, so we have some fresh pasta here to substitute making the pasta. The first step is we're gonna boil our water on the stove, so we're gonna just boil this and then start making our sauce. So we're gonna get started on the famous sauce for the spaghetti. So we're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. So we're gonna add half a chopped onion, two garlic cloves, chopped, and then we have our rosemary and basil, so we're just gonna add that too. Then we're just gonna mix this around, get it all mixed up and saute. Megan, in the recipe, she doesn't have specific measurements for anything. She just kind of eyes it and just puts it in. So if you like more onion, if you like more rosemary, if you like more garlic, you can add to your flavor. And then we're gonna add our diced carrots. This is like three mini carrots diced. I don't think I've ever added carrots in my spaghetti, so we're gonna see if it tastes good. And then we're gonna add, this is specific to the recipe, the San Marzano whole peeled pear tomatoes. This is the one she uses. I'm kind of a little concerned because this is whole tomatoes. So we'll see if it turns into a sauce. ASMR, oh my gosh. Then we're just gonna mix that all up. <laughs> this is getting messy. <laughs> this smells so good. I smell the basil, tomato. Little thing I'm concerned about, we have whole tomatoes in here. The recipe never said to blend it up. So I'm just gonna start kind of like smashing it up. Hopefully the heat will make it dissolve. But the next ingredient is the pancetta. So we're just gonna add a little bit of that. We're eyeing it again. There's no specific amount you need to add. Add however much you want. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of some salt and pepper. And we're gonna simmer everything till it's soft. I already see the tomatoes are like, you know, kind of turning into liquid, which is a good sign. So as I mentioned, this recipe was from her lifestyle blog, The Tig. This is before she was married to Prince Harry. And Megan would write about all these different topics like beauty, lifestyle. She would even write about different celebrities in the world and interview them, which were her friends. So that's pretty cool because she got like the inside scoop on their lives because she's friends with them. So all the ingredients look pretty tender now. The tomatoes have dissolved. It looks really good. It smells so good. And the next step, the secret ingredient is adding a splash of good red wine. So the recipe says to have this cook for 25 minutes. So did you know Prince Harry first saw Megan on Instagram? Can we just talk about that for a second? So he was scrolling through Instagram, it was a normal day, and he comes across his friend's feed with a video of Meghan Markle and his friend. With Meghan Markle had a Snapchat filter, it was like with the puppy ears, and he saw her, he fell in love. He was like, who is this girl? I need her number. So he asked his friend, what's her number? And then he was like, hey, to Meghan, hey, can I take you on a date? He ended up taking Meghan on a date in London, and guess what? He was late to the first date. He came in the restaurant, completely flustered, sweating, and the rest is history. That's, that's what started the romance. So now we're gonna get to cooking the pasta. We have some fresh pasta here. We're not making it like Meghan Markle. She makes it fresh, but we just bought some fresh from the store. Add the pasta to our boiling water, and the recipe says to cook it for five minutes so it's al dente. So five minutes on the timer right now. So Megan says, you will know when it's al dente when it expands a wee bit. Usually when I test if it's al dente, you just throw it at the wall and it sticks, but Megan uses more of a visual approach to this, you know? So we're gonna move our pasta back there to cook and get it all cooked up and ready. So did you know Megan actually grew up around television and kind of like the entertainment industry? So her dad was actually a lighting and photography director on the hit sitcom Married with Children. And Megan, after school, she would go on the set and kind of see everything, how it works and how a show is made. And Fast forward to Megan's young adulthood and early career. Megan makes her first debut on the TV show General Hospital. She was Nurse Jill. And then in 2011, Megan made her big debut on the TV show Suits, and her character was Rachel Zane, which is one of the main characters in the series. This was Megan's big break and really was like the highlight of her whole like career in the entertainment industry. So we have our cooked pasta. It's been five minutes. We're gonna throw this against the wall to see if it's al dente. Let's try it. 
Wow, it actually worked. That's amazing. So the recipe says not to drain it and just use some tongs to add it to the sauce. So we get a little bit of that, the water, the pasta water from when it was cooking. This pasta looks really good. Wow. So we're just gonna get a little bit of our pasta water and add it to our spaghetti. The pasta water is supposed to help bind the sauce. Life hack, kitchen hack, cooking hack. Get that all stirred up. So we're just gonna add some extra Parmesan cheese. I like a lot, so we're gonna add just it all on top of it, just to cover the top. And then we're gonna add some basil, some fresh basil. And then let's start plating it up and get to the taste test. The final product, Meghan Markle's Spaghetti Alla Shatara. We're gonna try it and see if it's worth the hype. I added too much red wine. I added too much red wine. But overall, pasta, al dente. Five minutes, the best pasta I've ever had in my life. Like the texture of it is so good. The basil is very strong, you could taste it in here. I think I maybe add a little too much too. But overall, it's a very simple pasta, literally just tomato sauce with like some seasonings. It's a little basic, it's a little basic. I do like other types of pasta, like with some like bolognese or fettuccine alfredo, but this is just a very simple pasta to make. Yes, I would make it again because it was so easy to make, but when I make the fresh pasta, like Meghan Markle does, like from homemade, probably not. Rating I would give it a six out of 10. The thing is, I think I'd rather have some more going on in here, maybe like some shrimp, some steak, something else, and then, I don't know, just like a little more flavorful. I feel like it's not that flavorful. It's kind of just like tomato sauce and basil and cheese. It's kind of basic. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications and comment below what your favorite type of pasta is. I'll see you guys later, bye.